Hi everyone, welcome to today's class. Today we have this challenge before us here. The math problem here is not strange. If you've been following this channel for the past one year, you discover that about a year ago, I produced a video on this challenge. Okay, and uh, this video has actually gotten uh, about uh, 1.2 million views. And recently I decided to scroll through my videos and uh, to look at the comments. And inside the comment sections, I saw many criticism. Okay, many persons uh, criticizing a particular line that yes, I made a grievous error, a grievous mistake. But in that video, if you watch carefully, after the line six, the line seven of it, I explained what happened between line six and line seven. Okay, so that's why I want to reproduce this video. Okay, many persons can testify to the fact that on this channel, whenever an error is pointed out, I immediately take down the video and reproduce it. Okay, but this very one, I want to reproduce this video and point out what actually happened in that place okay and above all i love one of the comments okay one of them said he said yes the guy is a human being and we are all human and every human being is prone to uh, making mistakes okay to ace human okay i love that uh, that, that comment because the guy ended by saying that when you want to do your um, corrections okay that you should put your corrections in a friendly way in a friendly manner Okay, but some persons are just so blot in their comment, in their criticism, so blot. But obviously, such criticism also make us stronger. Okay, so we are here to learn. Again, if you recall, at the end of all my videos, I always ask you to drop in the comment section if there are mistakes or you have a better way of solving this same challenge. Why? Because we are here to learn from the best brains all over the world. We are not the best, okay? But the little we know, we will try to improve on it so that we can give out the best to our viewers. Okay, so with that being said, let's go into today's challenge and see where the error actually lies. All right, so we take our solution here. Solution. All right. So her persons have complained of my handwriting, but I'm working on it. All right, so look at this question here. The number one thing we do here is to move this 12 to this side of the equation. Now, if you look at this question, for sure, the first root or the real root to this is just minus 2. Minus 2 will give you this, right? But how do we get the other imaginary root? Because we are to solve for three roots from here now. And one is um, a real root there. The other two definitely are going to be imaginary root. So we cannot get the imaginary root by a trial and error. So hence, we are going to solve this now. So we move this to this side to give us here x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 12 equal to. So we cannot rewrite this as our x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus 4 minus 8 equal to 0. This, this will give us this, right? Good. Now, based on the exponent we have here, and the exponent we have here, let's express this, this, based on this. So we now have x to the power of 2 minus x to the power of 3 minus, this could be written as 2 to the power of 2, and this could be written as 2 to the power of 3, everything equal to 0. So let's marry them based on their exponent. This is to the power of 2, so let's bring this and this together. This is to the power of 3, let's bring this and this together. So from here, we now have here x to the power of 2, minus 2 to the power of 2, then minus this x to the power of 3, minus 2 to the power of 3, equal to 0. Here comes where everyone almost killed me. <laughs> okay. Here, yeah, what to bracket these terms here? What I did in that first video, in fact, the video is showing up here now. Okay? You can go and watch that video and see what the difference is or where the problem lies. It's up here. Now look at this. If I decide to put this in bracket and I put this in bracket, what will happen? In that video, I put this in bracket and I put this in bracket and I said in the next step, there this minus will affect this minus to turn to plus. And so the next step to increase is step um, seven. 
I wrote something like this, x squared minus 2 squared, close bracket, then minus bracket, x to the power of 3, then plus 2 to the power of 3, close bracket, equal to this. It's simple. That's A, B, C. I wrote this very well. In fact, I put the first one in bracket, this in bracket, and I went for that to tell that, yes, when we use this to open this, then this will turn to plus. Okay? All right, so let's go. Uh, yeah. Now, we are to apply some special algebraic identity, yeah and yeah. Yeah, this is what we call difference of two square. And yeah, this is what we call sum. So let's bring out the difference of two square. The difference of square says that if you have x squared, then minus y squared, this is equal to bracket x plus y, close bracket, bracket x minus y, close bracket. You get this? Then for our sum of 2 cube, this will give us x to the power of 3, then plus y to the power of 3, this is equal to bracket our x, the plus y, close bracket, the bracket, our x, the to the power of 2, the minus our um, x, y, the plus our y squared, close bracket. So let's group this out. So these are the special identity we're going to use. Easy. So let's rewrite this and this in this format. So let's continue on this side here and see what this gets. So from here, we cannot rewrite this. So this now implies that bracket our x plus 2 plus bracket bracket x minus 2 plus bracket minus, which is this minus here, then here we now have the bracket. Our first one is going to give us here x plus 2 also bracket here we're going to have x squared then minus 2x then we have plus our 2 to the power of 2 close bracket everything equal to 0. Easy. So what do we do here? Look at this. We have the x plus 2. We have the x plus 2. So we can factor that out, right? Good. So if we do that, we're going to have here x plus 2. 2 close bracket then let's put this into a square bracket we use this to divide this this will give us what our x minus 2 close bracket minus we are left with this here so we have here x square minus 2 x plus 4 everything equal to 0 let's close our square bracket here all right we can open up everything we have here using this minus to open this so this will now give us here x plus 2 close bracket bracket x minus 2 minus your x squared plus um 2x minus uh 4 right equal to 0. so at this point we apply the zero product rule we can equate this to 0 equate this to 0 right so this will now give us x plus 2 equal to 0. then let's rearrange this our minus here so we have here or minus x to the power of 2 then plus x plus 2x will give us plus 3x then minus 2 minus 4 will give us minus 6 everything equal to 0. so for our case one we have your case one here we have x equal to minus 2. so x equal to minus 2 is the real root the only real root to this solution okay so what we do, we go to case two. So we have here case two. What is our case two? Look at our case two here. So we have, now in this case two, very easy because this one is carrying the minus sign, then let's multiply true by minus. So if we do that, this will now give us x to the power of two, then minus three x, then plus six equal to zero. Now this is a quadratic equation. So how do we solve this? We solve this using the Quadratic formula, what is our quadratic formula? We're going to have a x is equals to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac, everything all over your 2a. So we can bring our a, b, and c from here. So our a is equals to positive 1, which is the coefficient of x, then s square rather, then b is equals to minus 
3 and C is equal to um, positive 6. So let's go ahead and put in these values into our formula. So we're going to have our X will now be equal to minus, what is our B? Bracket minus 3 plus bracket plus minus the square root of minus 3 R to the power of 2 minus 4 times. Yeah, we have our A is what? A we said is 1. So our 1 times our C is what? 6. Yeah, everything all over 2 times 1. Okay, so what we do next here, uh, let's continue on this side to save our, our time. Okay, now from here, this one will give us our x is equal to, this will give us 3, then you have here plus minus the square root of, this will give us 9, minus, this will give us 24. 24, everything all over 2. So we have your x is equal to 3 plus minus the square root of minus 15. All right, all over 2. Okay, so what we do here is easy. Again, what is uh, square root of minus 15? We know that the square root of minus 1 is equal to iota. So we can bring in iota here, right? So this will now give us our x2 is equal to your 3 plus the square root of 15 iota all over 2. And our x3 is equal to your 3 minus the square root of 15 iota all over 2. So these are the other two roots that I said earlier of that are going to be imaginary. Right? The first one, which is uh, x1, this is real root, while these x2 and x3 are imaginary roots. So this marks the end to this correction. Okay? And um, I want to say a very big thank you to all my viewers who actually dropped uh, those comments. Okay? We love you. We love you. Because with criticism, we learn more. Criticism helps us to grow because we have to go down and do a better research to make sure we give out the best and not um, to mislead people in the system. Remember, this is all like Mass TV. Again and again, we love you. And above all, I love you the more. Thanks for being there. Keep watching and keep winning. Bye for now.